Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. This is one of the most common question many people have asked me. How to improve the Pega skills and be the best developer? As humans, we do possess a lot of skills, right? Be it cooking, singing, dancing, whatever skills you take. We can improve our skills if we do a lot of practice and hard work. If we do a lot of practice on any skill, automatically we will get the right confidence. I've seen this many times in my life experience be it sporting field on playing cricket or doing some presentation. If I get a small doubt on myself, then mostly I fail to show my complete skills. With Pega development, my confidence is sky high now. Like literally, I feel I can do anything in Pega development. I'm not boasting myself here. I'm just here to share my experience and share you some tips that can make you a good and a confident Pega developer. So here is my five tips to become a confident Pega developer. Number one, keep learning. I remember during my junior years in Pega, I think it will be around 2.5 to 3 years of experience, I appeared for few interviews and mostly I got rejected. That gave me kind of wake up call that I should learn more. I started learning every day. I used to go through the Pega help document and started going through each and every rule. I just tried to understand what is the usage of each rule. When you go through each and every line, definitely they written those lines for some purpose, right? I try to imagine myself and try to visualize the usage of those rules. At that time, learning new skills really gave me a lot of confidence, a lot of satisfaction, curiosity, excitement. Years before, there were few incidents. When I talk with Infra guys, they talk about the passivation, the server restart, the load balancing stuff which I really don't understand at that time. Then I decided I should learn all these infra stuffs. I started with the Linux operating system and then started learning a lot of DevOps tools and technologies. Through the timeline, I really got a lot of confidence on the infra side. Still, I'm not going to stop learning. I have an advice here. Please don't restrict yourself with learning only about Pega. Just try to understand other technologies and tools that you use with Pega. Maybe you can start with Elasticsearch, Kafka, Docker and slowly you can understand the other tools as well. This will really keep your confidence high. Also, you will not be bored with the Pega development. Being an IT people, this can be a really good investment on yourself. Just try to learn new things and upgrade yourself. I feel everyone, how much busy you are, you can at least spend 30 minutes each day to learn something new. Just try it out, you will get the difference. Now the next tip, number two, do the PEGA certifications. Here you can see the timeline of my PEGA certifications. I did complete my CSA using PEGA dumps, I would admit that. And for senior system architect exam, I spent a lot of hours in learning. I did a lot of hard work and once I completed the senior system architect, my confidence went high. Then I went on a roll to complete two more certifications in the next three months. It is on UI specialist and Pega marketing. I needed those batches to feel confident and superior myself. You know, my manager asked me not to give any more certifications in that year. Then comes the LSA. I completed my LSA certification with four years of IT experience. It means with three and a half years of Pega experience. Many have recommended me not to appear for the LSA exam with four years of experience, but I just did that. You know what? I completed the LSA course at my three years of experience. I didn't mean the certification, but the PDN course. I loved those advanced concepts in Pega. What I want to say here is, even if you are two year or three year experience in Pega, you are not restricted to access the LSA course. Just go through it and gain the knowledge. After completing my LSA certification, it is of seven days of application development. Then I got three days to app fix. My confidence skyrocketed. I felt a lot of pride and responsibility of being an LSA. I think after completing my LSA, my way of writing blog articles also changed. I felt very confident and easy to explain all those advanced concepts in my blog articles. Again, getting certificates is also like you are investing in yourself. Just go for it. I'll make a separate video on different Pega certifications which you can pursue. All you have to do is just go to Pega Academy and then find your right mission and start with it. Now, tip number three, look for the problems and bugs in your application. Improve your problem solving skills. The more bugs you face in your application development, the more learning you will receive. How many times you just saved a Pega rule and then you got a red error banner at the top. 
for every problem or an issue definitely there is a solution for it all you have to do just do some little research and then you will find the right solution doing these little researches can really give you lot of confidence lot of learnings you will get on fixing those bugs personally i enjoy fixing bugs and solving issues i cannot explain the happiness i get on fixing the bugs generally to solve any bug or an issue you'll be doing lot of brainstorming in your mind right there you will generate lot of solutions that can improve your knowledge in that area if i look back at my pega development experience the most happiest moment is fixing a 2 year old bug for one of my clients that is the top most thing that comes to my mind the other happy moments is also fixing bugs and solving issues for the developers so next time when a production issue comes just volunteer yourself and try to do the analysis and try to fix it i am sure you can fix few and in the process you will learn new so take your tracer and clipboard and start it now tip number 4 explore the new pega features we know that pega releases new versions very frequently and they give update on the new features in their release notes this is one of the most usual thing which i do when pega releases a new minor version i go through the release notes and try to explore all the new features that comes with the new version by this way you can get a clear picture on the pegas road map in the recent 8 plus releases if you go through the release note you will really find lot of new features were introduced as part of cosmos ui and app studio from here you can look at the road map they are moving towards introducing the cosmos ui as well as the low code development keeping yourself up to date with the pega releases can really give you the confidence on the software with the new features or the new rules you can just explore it from the designer studio use the help document and then you can find the usage of the rules maybe you can also present it or showcase those features to your business users especially if you work in any upgrade project definitely you should go through the release notes of the particular version and the final tip the most important one to me number 5 share your knowledge knowledge always increases by sharing not by saving really knowledge sharing it brought a lot of transformation in me i do lot of research before i make any blog article for example when i made blog articles for kafka or elastic search i did lot of udemy courses i went through those courses and i tried to understand the basic first before i explain it in terms of pegas context once i go through those courses and understand the basic then i felt more confident to explain it in my blog articles so what i say here is sharing knowledge not only benefit the receivers who is receiving the knowledge but also it benefits the providers who share their knowledge in my junior years i really got good mentors who shared their knowledge with me and who motivated me or inspired me to do the same you can start with knowledge sharing maybe in a very small group maybe in your project team you can take a small topic do some exploration and share your knowledge questions may come then you again do some research again do some exploration that will increase your knowledge and give you the right confidence to me all these five things which i practiced and which i feel that made me a confident pega architect if you have additional tips or comments you can share under this video comments we can discuss about it also if you need any kind of special videos like how to start with pega or any other topic just leave a comment here i'll make sure to make a new video on it if you like the content of this video kindly do like and share with your friends that really keeps me motivating to make new videos see you in the next video